Hello guys, welcome to another interesting video in the series of coding. It's called increasing triplet subsequence. So let's get started with it. Given an integer array nums, return true if there exists a triplet of indices i, j, k such that i is less than j, j is less than k and nums of i is less than nums of j and nums of j is less than nums of k. If no such indices exist, then return false. So let's try to understand with the help of examples that they have given. So here they have given nums array to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and there exists a triplet here that's why it's valid actually there exists a lot of triplets for example 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4 or even 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, 5 and so on. So that's why it is true. Consider this array now 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 there is no triplet such that i is less than j is less than k and as well as the values are less than each other in the increasing order so we have to return false okay let's go to the next example 215046 so in this example we can see that triplet 345 that is the indices 345 that is 0 4 and 6 is forming a triplet where the indices are in the order of i is less than j is less than k and nums of i is also less than nums of j and nums of j is also less than nums of k so let's try to understand the logic of this code before moving on to actually coding it so let's take the same example which they have given 215046 so 215046 and 6 so basically we can perform a o of n cube solution but that will be very bad so o of n cube solution is very simple and it is the brute force approach right we can do this but it's going to be very very bad because it's going to take a lot of time complexity so we can check for all the three elements and we can form three for loops and various methods but it's going to be very bad so we'll think of a simpler solution so let's think of a simpler solution so what i will do is i will initialize two variables called left and mid okay now i'm going to declare left as maximum of integer value okay just consider it infinity for example and i'm going to declare mid as infinity okay now if i'm going to find any left that is lesser than this throughout the array then i'm going to change my left so let's start iterating over each element and if i'm going to find any mid element such that it is greater than left but it is going to be lesser than the maximum value okay the highest element that is possible then we can find such a triplet so let's start iterating then we'll understand it better so for example i'm going over to my first element okay now my first element is the smallest element so i will change my left and it will become two now now i'll go over to the next element next element is even smaller than this element so my left will become one now now i'll go over to the next element phi so now phi is greater than left so it will occupy the position of mid now I'll go over to the next element 0, 0 is smaller than left so 0 will become the new left. Going over to the next element 4, so 4 is between left and mid so 4 will become the new mid and going over to the last element. Now when I am encountered such an element that is greater than mid, okay, then I am going to return true. So 6 is greater than mid which is 4 so I have found the triplet and hence I can return the value true. So let's start coding this and then the whole picture will become clearer i hope so we will declare int left to be the maximum of the integer value and then we will declare int mid to be again maximum of integer value and let's start iterating before this we can also give a simple condition that if the size of the array is less than 3 then in that case we can simply return false because a triplet is not possible if the size of the array is less than 3. Now let's start iterating over the array. So for int i equal to 0, i is less than nums dot size i plus plus. So let's give the first condition and that condition will be if we are able to find an element that is greater than mid. So if nums of i is greater than mid then we can just return true. So in this case that we just looked at we were able to find 6 that was greater than our mid that means we have found a triplet. Okay if this condition is not true then we can check if nums of i is greater than left and nums of i is 
okay so we are going to search for the mid element so nums of i should be greater than left and nums of i is less than mid then that will become our new mid so mid will become equal to nums of i else we can check for the condition that if nums of i is less than left then in that case left will become equal to nums of i so that's it and we can give a return false in the end so that's it and it should work let's run and see if it's working so it's working for the first test case that is given let's see if it's working for all the test cases yes it's an accepted solution and thank you for being patient and listening to me